Some people in Suffolk County woke up to feet, some feet of water outside their homes and in their basements after heavy rainfall pummeled the area. CBS 2's Shows Pedrosian spent the day in East Islip where roads and backyards were submerged. It is quiet and it is calm here on Bayview Avenue. It is hard to imagine that earlier in the day, this entire street was almost swallowed by flood water. And a few hours ago, residents were pumping water out of their basements. Wow. Walking through five inches of flood water in East Islip, you'll end up finding basements underwater and backyards turned into ponds. It's nothing like I've ever seen before. Residents say the flooding happened within a matter of hours overnight and into the morning. While some stayed on their lawns to see the site, others drove right through it. My dad had to push a car since there was a car stuck all the way to a house down there. I was right by the stop sign there and uh, had to push him up over there so he can get towed to safety. Right here on Bayview Avenue, there are certain pockets of the street that are seeing more flooding than other areas. As you can see, we're just off of Brushwood Court here in East Islip. It's the only road off of this avenue that is closed. That's because it has the deepest and the largest amount of water that is piling up. Residents here say this is not the first time this has happened. I have three drains here. The water was coming out of the drains, not going into the drains. Jimmy Hand is typically out on calls helping other residents when their homes are flooded, but instead the Assistant Fire Chief of East Islip Fire Department is pumping out water from his crawl space and backyard. Hopefully I can get the water down enough to where if it does rain again, it won't go up to up to the bottom of my house. If it does rain within the next few days, residents are hoping the town comes out and cleans out these drains as they might be filled with debris. In East Islip, I'm Shosh Bedrosian, CBS 2 News.